So there's been a lot of talk about how animal feed is going up and how when you, if you're going into the stores, you're seeing prices increase on pretty much everything. We're seeing our own food prices increase and that goes along to animal feed as well. So what if there was a way that you could at least supplement your chickens with free food? Wouldn't you wanna do it? Well, I'm here to tell you that there is. And while this might not be something that is going to completely replace all the feed that you give to your chickens, it is definitely going to be a nice supplement for them and super, super nutritious. Not only that, but it's a really fun thing to do. It's something that you can teach your kids. Everyone can get in on the fun and it's just a really, really, I'm gonna use the word I used in my last video, a really empowering thing to just know how to get your own food from the earth. So what I'm talking about is wild foraging. There are two things that I use to help me whenever I go out and start to forage some wild edibles. And so the first thing is I've got a great app. It's called Picture This. With the Picture This app, you simply take a picture, it scans the plant and then tells you what it is. There is a free trial for it. I think after that, it's like $30 a year. For me, worth every penny because when we first moved to our homestead, I all of a sudden had just over 13 acres to explore. And I didn't know what all the flora and fauna was. So one of my favorite things to do was to just take my phone and run around and just scan everything I saw. Charlie was like, you are crazy with this app, but it was just really neat. And it was fun for me to discover all of the edible things that we had growing on our land. So I have to say, if you are just moving on to a new property, definitely do that because you'll be surprised at what you find. The picture of this app is really cool. And it's one of the ways that I was able to discover that we had things like passion flower, blackberries, and even a peach tree on our property. So it was really, really awesome. And I highly recommend this app. This app doesn't always tell you which things are edible. So I really do like having another resource on hand to show which things are edible. The second thing that I love as a resource is this book. It is called Wild Edibles and it's by Sergey Botenko, I think is how you say it. It looks like this. I got it on Amazon and it's a really great guide for a beginner. I really love this book. It's very easy to understand and there's a lot of really cool recipes in it as well. So I like to have my app, so I take my phone with me when I go foraging, and I also take this book, because I kind of like to double check myself, because whenever you're doing something with foraging, it's always better to be super safe and know what you're doing. And as you get more comfortable with it, like now, I can walk along, I probably wouldn't need the book to recognize certain edible plants, but, when I go out with the intention to wild forage, I do like to bring this with me so I can use it as a reference. And it's really, really helpful. So I know some of the people that are watching this, you might be avid wild foragers and you might say, as I'm going through some of these plants and we're, we're literally just gonna go around my yard, around my house, so I can just show you how close all these things are right to your door depending on where you live. But some of you might be thinking, well, those are edible for human beings. Like, why would I give that to my chickens? And so you're you're right that a lot, of, certainly everything that I talk about that is referenced in this book is a wild edible for humans as well. I am just going to talk about foraging for chickens because that's the purpose of this video. <laughs> A few of the things that you want to have with you when you are foraging, besides I just mentioned having the book, having an app, you want a pair of gloves because some of these things can have like little prickers on them and so it's, it's good to have a pair of gloves. 
you're gonna want something to put your stuff in. So I've got a bucket. And then you're going to need something to cut. So scissors, clippers, scissors, you can use whatever you want, but you want gloves, a bucket, and some scissors. So let's go see what's around my yard. I'm gonna turn my camera around and just show you. Actually, let's just start walking. So I'm gonna be walking and we're gonna just walk through my yard. When I see something that I know is a wild edible, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna tell you what it is and tell you what I might know about it. Okay, so I'm just on the side of my house. I bet you just within this little area, I bet you we're gonna have, be able to find at least five things that are free food for our chickens. Do you think I can do it? Let's see. So right off the bat, I see wild lettuce. And this is a big, beautiful clump of wild lettuce. And I know that this is wild lettuce because it looks like a dandelion leaf. And I know this is absolutely safe for my chickens. Wild lettuce is in the aster family. And the aster family is what the sunflower is in. And I happen to be allergic to sunflowers. So I'm glad I have gloves on. I'm going to break one of these leaves apart so I can show you the sap inside so we can further identify that it's wild lettuce and then we know for sure what it is. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'm just gonna break one apart. I can squeeze this and you can see the sap coming out of it. That is indeed wild lettuce. So I've got, we're already off to a great start. We've got a big, beautiful clump of wild lettuce. And there's more than this over here. I'm gonna harvest this. And so I've got my gloves on, I've got my scissors. And so I'm just gonna go at the bottom and cut it. Cause then it can grow back later and we'll get more wild lettuce. And then I'm just gonna put it in the bucket here. So right next to the wild lettuce, we've got some sheep sorrel. And we know that it is sheep sorrel by looking at the leaves, which resemble a fish or a sword. So this is another great find. It is part of the buckwheat family. So we've got the wild lettuce, which is part of the aster family. And then sheep sorrel, which is part of the buckwheat family. So that is one, two that are safe for our chickens that we can harvest to give to them. Uh, everyone knows what this is. We've got the beautiful dandelion. So dandelions are absolutely nutritious and safe for your chickens. And do not worry, I've got plenty of dandelions for the bees. My yard is absolutely full of them. So to put a few dandelions in for treats for my girls, I don't think anyone's going to mind. And here's a big patch of wood sorrel. See the heart-shaped leaves? That's how you know it's wood sorrel. Now I've got a Nirvana song in my head. I wanted to show you a picture of clover so you can see the oval leaves versus the heart-shaped leaves of the wood sorrel because those two often get mixed up for one another. And this way you'll know, heart-shaped wood sorrel, oval clover. The good news is even if you get them mixed up, it's okay because they are both edible. Another thing that you can forage for your chickens is, is just tall grass. So if they're in an area where they don't have access to fresh grass, you can forage this tall grass for them. Here comes Smokey. These two just wanna follow me everywhere I go. My two sweet little cats, Smokey and Onyx, who make up our barn cat army. So the other really cool thing about having a bucket with you is that you can flip it over and it becomes a seat. So we're wild lettuce, dandelion, wood sorrel, and, and sheep sorrel. So I found two types of sorrel, wood sorrel and sheep sorrel. 
and wood sorrel is the one that looks like clover. And then we found dandelion, some beautiful tall grass, and wild lettuce. So we got a nice full basket full of foraged wild greens for the chickens. I'm going to toss it over to them and we'll see how the girls like it. All right, here you go, ladies. Nice fresh greens for you. So now you know how to forage. You know how to go out and you know how to identify wood sorrel, sheep sorrel, dandelion, grasses, and wild lettuce. All five of those can be fed to your chicken and are a nice supplement to the feed. And it's free. So grab your kids, grab a friend, and go out and get to foraging. It is so much fun. You're, I know that you're going to love it. So now I wanna know, have you foraged before? What is your favorite thing to forage? Did you like this video? Do you wanna see more videos about foraging? I know we talked about plants that are good to feed your chickens. By the way, everything that I mentioned is, is fine for humans to eat as well. And I really wanna hear about your experience with foraging. As I mentioned before, this book, I absolutely love it. It's got some great recipes in it and he really goes into the nutrients of all of the wild edibles too, which I personally found very, very fascinating. If you like this video, I know that you're going to love the video where we teach you how to make greens from your cauliflower leaves. So check that one out next.